Good morning class. Today we are going to study about loading dose and maintenance dose. Now, generally what happens is that for a drug to be therapeutically active, it must reach the steady state. That is, uh, the drug must reach the steady state concentration to be therapeutically active. Now, normally it takes around 5 half lives of the drug to achieve the steady state concentration or the plateau phase. Unless the steady state is reached, the drug is not going to show its activity or the concentration is going to be below the, the, uh, the minimum effective concentration or it is going to lie in the sub-therapeutic level. So in order to achieve therapeutic efficiency or therapeutic activity, the drug must reach the steady state. But drugs which have a very long half-life, it is going to take a very large time, long time to achieve the steady state and hence to achieve a therapeutic efficiency or activity. So what is done in, in such cases, we administer a loading dose which is a large dose, a large dose which is given instantaneously so as to achieve a steady state. Now once the steady state is achieved, after achievement of steady state, once the action starts, this loading dose is then followed by a maintenance dose which maintains the action of the drug for a long time in the body. That is called as the maintenance dose. Now let us understand this by the help of this graph. See this graph was done previously in the case of IV infusion. Say the concentration steadily rises in the blood. The blood plasma concentration slowly increases with time and reaches a point which is the steady state. Unless this point CSS or steady state is achieved, there is going to be no therapeutic activity. Now, this time is the infusion time, which means that from this point to this point, say point A to point B, the drug is therapeutically active in the body. So what we are trying to do in the loading dose, we are trying to administer a high dose so that this point A steady state is achieved immediately or instantaneously and then this is maintained. This phase now, in, in order to prolong this phase, we give the maintenance dose. See, normally what happens is that once the steady state is achieved, it is going to continue for some time and then the, the concentration declines or the drug starts eliminating out from the body. But in order to prolong this action, say, if we have to remove this graph and we, we want to prolong this action so that the decline happens after a very long time, we have to give another dose that is the maintenance dose. Say for example, initially we gave a large bolus dose followed by slow infusion of the same drug. Now, let's come to this graph. See, this is the starting point of infusion. Starting point of infusion, this line at the top shows the steady state level. This is where the drug concentration should reach initially, reach finally so as to give some therapeutic activity. Now, but this is going to take a long time. Say, if we just consider this, this is the time, see half lives 3 and 6. So, roughly or approximately it takes around 5 half lives of the drug to reach this level. So, in order to shorten this time or immediately or instantaneously achieve this steady state level, what we are doing is we are giving this loading dose. This is X the amount of drug in the body. We are giving this loading dose initially or immediately so that the steady state level is achieved. Now, this loading dose starts to decline, the concentration decreases, but at the same point, we also deliver the maintenance dose which rises to this level and hence the concentration of the drug in the body is maintained at the steady state for a long period of time. So, in order to achieve effective therapeutic activity of drugs having a long half-life, we initially need to give a large loading dose, say by, by bolus, and then following it up with a maintenance dose, say by IV infusion. The loading dose, also called as the priming dose, can be calculated by the formula X is equal to CSS, that is the concentration for steady state, multiplied by volume of distribution, divided by F, that is the fraction of drug available systematically. Now, the dose ratio is X loading divided by X, that is the maintenance dose. Now, this X loading dose can also be calculated by this formula, 
This formula is valid for extravascular administration. Now, in case of intravenous administration, we neglect this term that is the absorption term because absorption does not happen in IV and we are just including the term for elimination. These two formulas are used in case we do not know the volume of distribution of the drug. In case VD is known, we can use the first formula effectively to calculate the loading dose. See, generally the loading dose is larger than the maintenance dose. It is going to be a large enough dose to achieve the steady state concentration. Now, we can also explain the concept of loading dose and maintenance dose by this equation where we see that C is equal to X upon VD e to the power minus KET. This formula or this part is equivalent to, if you remember, this is equivalent to IV bolus. While this part is equivalent to IV infusion. This is a symbolic equation which represents that the combination of loading dose and maintenance dose can be represented by simultaneously giving an IV bolus to the patient and following it up with IV infusion because what is IV bolus? IV bolus is a rapid high dose injection to the patient which achieves steady state concentration within 1 to 3 minutes. Okay, so this part is the loading dose where rapidly the steady state is achieved and the action of the drug is achieved in the body. But this concentration will also rapidly decline as seen by this asymptomatic curve. Now, to maintain the concentration in the body, we have to follow the drug therapy, therapy with IV infusion of the same drug at a constant rate so that the loading dose is followed up by a maintenance dose to maintain the drug therapy for a long enough time so as to achieve effective drug therapy. This is about loading dose and maintenance dose. Do come with your doubts. Keep studying. Thank you.